Hello, this is Derek, and I'm recording a series of video tutorials for use by our faculty here at the high school. And this first one is on the use of Firefox and having a personal profile so you can recover from a data catastrophe. Okay, so let's share a screen here and we'll go share my Windows machine. And you can see here, I have a freshly installed version of Firefox. And the really cool thing about Firefox, beyond the fact that it is the only open source and free browser, which isn't part of the Google monopoly via the Chrome engine, which is now an edge in Chrome and Vivaldi and all the other browsers all use the Chrome engine. So we want to use this because as information professionals, we don't want to be part of, how do you say, the monopoly on info that Google has. So one of the things that's really cool about Firefox amongst other things is that once you log into it, you can actually import your bookmarks your history, and all your logins. It's kind of amazing. Your machine can die totally. Then you can go buy a brand new machine, log into Firefox, and you have everything already saved. This is the biggest deal. And the reason I'm doing these tutorials is because in the last couple of weeks, I had a couple of instructors have their machine die and they've lost everything. So anyway, let's log in. And then of course it was my super long password and uh, I am using what's known as a, uh, two-factor integration, and it's run through the Duo app, which is kind of cool. And you've got there we are, we've logged in with the number that Duo gave me. Now, look at there. You see what's happening? It's installing all of my favorite extensions. And we'll get there, but first I just want to show you that I personally like to, how should we say, you see them blinking here. It means they're downloading my bookmarks, my user history, everything. It's very, very nice. What you can customize your toolbar. I like having a home button. I don't like these goof all things. Don't like that. And I want this over here. And I want this button here. That's how I like it. So if I go here, it's 
Well, all my and all of my bookmarks are there. So let's go, for example, to, uh, to see it remembers the pop-up password and it remembers all of my accounts. So that symbol, just log in and all of your stuff is saved. Now, in the next tutorial, we'll talk about how even if the uh, internet uh, or Firefox's account is compromised, you can save your bookmarks and your logins as exportable files and then keep them on an encrypted disk. We'll talk about that. But for right now, I just want to point out that you can do the same behavior in Chrome, I think even in Vivaldi. So it's pretty much a standard feature for any modern browser. So what you want to do is create yourself a profile. I'm going to use a really long passphrase, and we'll talk more about those in another tutorial. And then you always have your stuff backed up, and you never have to worry. Oh, by the way, did I forget? Did I lose my machine or get a virus or heaven forbid your house burns down and your phone and your computer are destroyed? Any of the horrible things that can happen to us, we know is in this universe. If it can happen, it probably will. I will add this one anecdote, and that is, I learned it by doing this stuff the hard way, way back when I was teaching library 240. I had, this is the web development course. I had a student upload a virus, a very sophisticated virus to my practice server and it infected my machine and I lost everything. I had to start all over. And since that point, I've been very diligent about backing up my user information so that in the event of a data disaster, it has little or no effect on me. So we'll stop this here there and we'll end by saying I'll end each of these tutorials the same way. Uh, you know, I'm the webmaster of our the high school and I am available via Zoom to anybody who needs help. So if you need help, drop me an email. I check my email seven days a week. I will meet with you and help you get yourself sorted. So with that, I'll say bye and until next time.